Well, I woke up this morning thinking about this issue um, and you can see what it is actually. I, I did suspect this. Um, this is the air box that's got to go in and at the moment it doesn't clear the oil pipes. Now I've, I've uh, sort of rotated this pipe downwards because it was fouling on the water pipe. I've cut this because I've got to have an adapter going here. Um, so I think I'm going to have to bring that back up um, to create the space for the air box. But it's all getting a bit tight, quite honestly. Um, I think it will go, but it is getting quite tight in there. Um, so just a word of warning, I guess, um, that you need to bear in mind that um, the pipes have got to go around the air box and they can't foul on the uh, top hose. Okay, well, as you can see, I've got the air box in, um, but this isn't going to work like this because I've got an air hose to go on here that swings around into the throttle body. And there's no way of getting that past this oil takeoff. So what that means is this would work if this, if I didn't have this uh, inline thing here for the uh, pressure takeoff. So I'm gonna have to move that back. I'm gonna have to take that out and move this you, this uh, joint back into back onto the end of the thing that's coming out this side plate. Now the other alternative is to put that that piece down there, but I still think that's going to get in the way um, because that means that's going to bring this hose further round and that's going to impede on the airbox hose. So, the alternative is, oh, phew, what is the alternative? I mean, I can put it, I could put it on top of the oil cooler. It means a longer run for the cable, but I suppose that doesn't matter. That's looking like that's the only viable alternative, or I'll scrap the whole idea of a oil pressure gauge, which is not what I really wanted to do. I don't know what I've done with my um, airbox hose. Let's see if I can find it. Okay, here it is. So that's got to go on there. You got, you see also there's got to be a thing, this thing here goes onto there. And that's all got to fit in there somewhere. So this definitely can't stay where it is. It's definitely got to come off. Um, and I just don't see how that's going to work. Wow, another little setback. Okay, well, I'll take this off and I'll I'll uh, get this in place. I mean, this is only very loosely in, just to prove the point, but I have got the bolts in place, so it is in the right position. Um, and obviously it, it's, it clears the, uh, it works with the top hose, but there's nothing changed on the top hose apart from the fact that I've cut a piece out of it and put this in. So it's hardly surprising that, uh, that you would expect that to work. Um, actually having a think of there, ha, that's going to get in the way of this as well. So if I bring this in, yeah, it's going to foul on that. Oh, crikey. This is a challenge. Well, I can rotate this round actually, so that's not a problem. I can just rotate it 90 degrees. Um, so I can get over that problem. I can eliminate the problem here temporarily, but I just don't know what I'm going to do about the oil pressure. Um, I think it's going to have to, I can't put it on that back one because it's going to still impede on the pipe. So the oil pressure takeoff is going to have to go on the top of the radiator. I swung the um, temperature, water temperature thing backwards in the end because I was worried about it getting too close to the um, fan assembly that's got to go on the front of the radiator. Uh, you can see now with the this air intake thing going into the air box, it's all getting pretty tight. Um, yeah, surprising a little room there is under here, um, really. Uh, so I still need to correct this, um, so I'll do that next. I've had a think about this overnight, and what I'm going to do is 
put a 90 degree elbow there then I'm going to fit the um, piece for the um, oil takeoff and then I'll use this elbow cranked round to take me back in that direction. Um, I think I've got enough space. Um, it's going to be tight. Um, but I think if I, I'm probably going to have to direct the 90 degrees downwards at a bit of an angle. Um, so that it clears this uh, temperature sensor or I can actually swivel this temperature sensor up a bit out of the way so um, I should be able to get it all in there. A further note about this change um, if I put the 90 degree elbow on um, here that's going to bring the um, end of the pipe obviously towards the front of the car then I'm going to add the oil pressure takeoff and then if I put the other elbow, the elbow that's already on the hose, if I connect that to the end of the oil pressure takeoff, um, I may end up having to sort of form an S shape with the hoses. This is something I found when I was experimenting. Um, so to avoid that, I've also ordered a straight coupler for the end of the hose to cover both eventualities, really. And one final point, the reason I'm putting this out now when I haven't actually fixed the problem is I'm conscious of the fact that in the previous oil cooler video I didn't mention this issue. Um, so I thought I should put something out right now uh, so that uh, you're aware of it.